Nathan Jessup. Come on in. Thank you, sir. Daniel Caffey, I'm the attorney for Dawson and Downey. Pleasure. This is uh, Lieutenant Commander Joanne Galloway. Pleasure Hello. meeting you, Commander. Observing and evaluating, sir. Lieutenant Sam Weinberg, he'll be assisting. Lieutenant, sir? This is my XO, Colonel Markinson, and platoon leader, Lieutenant Kendrick. I've asked them to join us. Sit down, please. Lieutenant Caffey. Colonel Markinson. I uh, had the pleasure of meeting your father once. I was a teenager. He spoke at my high school. Lionel Caffey? Yes, sir. Well, what do you know? John, this man's dad once made a lot of enemies down in your neck of the woods. Jefferson versus Madison County School District. Folks down there said a little black girl couldn't go to an all-white school. Lionel Caffey said, well, we'll just see about that. How the hell is your dad, Danny? He passed away seven years ago, sir. Don't I feel like the fucking asshole? Not at all, sir. Well, what can we do for you, Danny? Uh, not much, sir. This is really a uh, formality more than anything else. The Jag Corps insists that we interview all the relevant witnesses. The Jag Corps can be demanding that way. John will take you out and show you what you want to see. After that, we can all hook up for lunch. How does that sound? Fine, sir. Thank you. Good. Oh, right on her! I understand you had a meeting with your men that afternoon. Yes, I did. What did you guys talk about? I told the men that we had an informer among us and that despite any desire they might have to seek retribution, Private Santiago was not to be harmed in any way. What time is that meeting? 1600. It's 4 o'clock. Then we should make sure somebody gets this to his parents. We don't need it anymore. Right. Lieutenant Kendrick, may I call you John? No, you may not. Have I done something to offend you? No, I like all you Navy boys. Every time we got to go someplace to fight, you fellas always give us a ride. Lieutenant Kendrick, do you think Santiago was murdered? Commander, I believe in God and his son, Jesus Christ. Because I do, I can say this. Private Santiago is dead, and that is a tragedy. But he is dead because he had no code. He is dead because he had no honor. And God was watching. How do you feel about that theory? Sounds good. Let's move on. Are you planning on doing any investigating, or are you just going to take the guided tour? I'm pacing myself. Running around for three hours looking for anything white they could wave in the air. Some of these people surrendered to a crew from CNN. <laughs> well, walk softly and carry an armored tank division, I always say. That was delicious, thank you. My pleasure, sir. Colonel, I do have to ask you a couple of questions about September 6th. Shoot. On the morning of the 6th, you were contacted by an NIS agent who said that Santiago had tipped him off to an illegal fence line shooting. Yes. Santiago was going to reveal the person's name in exchange for a transfer. Yes. If you feel there are any details that I'm missing, you should feel free to speak up. Thank you. Now, at this point, you call Lieutenant Colonel Markinson and Lieutenant Kendrick into your office. Is that right? Yes. What happened then? We agreed that for his own safety, Santiago should be transferred off the base. Santiago was set to be transferred? On the first available flight to the States. 
0600 the next morning. Five hours too late, as it turned out. Yeah. All right, that's all I have. Thanks very much for your time. The corporal's waiting outside with a jeep for you. He'll take you back to the flight land. Thank you, sir. Wait a minute, I've got some questions. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Colonel, on the morning that Santiago died, did you meet with Dr. Stone between 3 and 5? Joe. Of course, I met with the doctor. But one of my men was dead. See? The man was dead. Let's go. I'm just wondering if you've ever heard the term code red. I've heard the term, yes. This past February, Colonel, you received a cautionary memo from the Commander-in-Chief of the Atlantic Fleet warning that the practice of enlisted men disciplining their own wasn't to be condoned by officers. Well, I submit to you that whoever wrote that memo has never faced the working end of a Soviet-made Cuban AK-47 assault rifle. However, the directive having come from the commander, I gave it its due attention. What is your point, Joe? She has no point. She often has no point, sir. It's part of her charm. We're out of here. Thank you. My point is that I think Code Red still go on down here. Do Code Red still happen on this base, Colonel? Joe, the Colonel doesn't need to answer that. Yes, he does. No, he really doesn't. Yeah, he really does. Colonel. You know, it just hit me. She outranks you, Danny. Yes, sir. I want to tell you something, and listen up, because I really mean this. You're the luckiest man in the world. There is nothing on this earth sexier, believe me, gentlemen, than a woman that you have to salute in the morning. Promote them all, I say, because this is true. If you haven't gotten a blow job from a superior officer, well, you're just letting the best in life pass you by. Colonel, the practice of code reds is still condemned of course, by officers on this My problem is anymore. I'm a colonel, so I'll just have to go on taking cold showers until they elect some gal president. I need an answer to my question, sir. Take caution in your tone, Commander. I'm a fair guy, but this fucking heat is making me absolutely crazy. You want to ask me about Code Red's on the record? I tell you I discourage the practice in accordance with the Commander's directive. Off the record, I tell you it is an invaluable part of close infantry training. And if it happens to go on without my knowledge, so be it. I run my unit how I run my unit. You want to investigate me, roll the dice and take your chances. I eat breakfast 300 yards from 4,000 Cubans who are trained to kill me, so don't think for one second that you can come down here, flash a badge, and make me nervous. Colonel, I just need a copy of Santiago's transfer order. What's that? Santiago's transfer order. You guys have paperwork on that kind of thing. I, I just need it for the file. For the file? Yeah. Of course, you can have a copy of the transfer order for the file, Danny. I'm here to help in any way I can. Thank you. You believe that, don't you, Danny? That I'm here to help you in any way I can? Of course. Corporal will take you by personnel on your way out to the flight line, and you can have all the transfer orders that you want. But you have to ask me nicely. I beg your pardon? You have to ask me nicely. You see, Danny, I can deal with the bullets and the bombs and the blood. I don't want money, and I don't want medals. What I do want for you to stand there in that faggoty white uniform and with your Harvard mouth extend me some fucking courtesy. You gotta ask me nicely. Colonel Jessup, if it's not too much trouble, I'd like a copy of the transfer order. Sir. No problem. 